In this video, I want to talk about a parametric equation of a line. Okay, so equation of a line, you may have learned like this, say y minus y1 is equal to m x minus x1. Now this is a, uh, a point gradient equation. This equation is called point gradient equation. Now let me explain this. This equation, or sorry, this uh, this formula can be used when you have a point and a gradient of a line. Point gradient equation. Or you, you can use this one also if there are two points. So let's say there are two points, say two comma five, and say seven comma nine. So if you want to sketch this. And say this is this is two comma phi is somewhere here. Two comma phi and seven comma nine is somewhere here. You want to find the equation of this line. Okay, so let me use a line two. Okay, hopefully. You want to find the equation of this line. Okay, almost there. Okay, so this is fine. So using this is two phi, so this is say A and this is B. So using this formula, how can we use this? So we can rewrite this formula as y minus y1 is equal to gra m is a gradient with this change in y, y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. Times x minus x1. So the first thing that we need to do is label x1 and y1. So let's say this is x1, this is y1, this is x2, and this is y2. So just substituting it back in the formula, you will have y minus y1. What is y1? y1 is 5. Is it is equal to y2 minus y1 which is y2 is 9 so it is 9 take away 5 divided by what is x2 x2 is 7 take away 7 take away 2 okay and times x minus x1 x1 is 2 so you have to just expand and simplify so this is not expand and simplify so let's simplify this so 9 take away 5 is 4 over 5, bracket x minus 2. Okay, and then of course y minus 5 is equal to, this is how much? This is 0 0.8, 4 over 5 is 8 over 10. So 0 0.8 times x is just 0.8x times 0 0.8 times 2 is 1.6. Am I right? I think so. So now adding phi to both sides. So this is the equation in gradient intercept form. So minus 1.6 plus phi. So the final equation is y is equal to 0 0.8x. Uh, phi take away 1 is 4 uh, and 4 take away point. So this is 3.4. So this is your final equation in gradient intercept form. Okay, so yeah, you can see that the gradient of this line is 4 over 5 or 0.8 and the y-intercept is going to be 3.4. Okay, so I'm going to pause this video. This is, of course, a good equation to write in when you've got two points. But now I'm going to write this in a parametric form. I had to pause this to clean this board and come back. Now coming to the parametric equation, this is uh, this equation is a point-point uh, equation, uh, and from this we can find we can write the parametric equation. So a parametric equation of uh, a line is basically defining a line in terms of a parameter, generally in terms of t. So I'll come to that. So let's write this again. So this equation can be written as y minus y1 is equal to 
m is change in y over change in x, so that is y2 minus y1 over y1 bracket x2 minus x1 times x uh, x uh, I made a mistake here, so let me write like this. This should be x minus x minus x1 times x minus x1. I've just rewritten this in uh, y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. So bringing the y's together, so this implies, can I say this is y minus y1 divided by y2 minus y1 is equal to, this is same as writing x minus x1 divided by x2 minus x1. So basically I'm just rearranged and written this in x and y. So we can say, well, why not define this? This and this are equal. So let's say that is defined as a parameter t. So now comparing each of them with t, can I say y minus y1 over y2 minus y1 is equal to t. Okay, and now multiplying both sides by y2 minus y1, y minus y1 is equal to y2 minus y1 times t. And now making y the subject, you can just say y is equal to y1 plus y2 minus y1 times t. Now if you want to write this in a general form, so this is, if you've got a gradient and you can use this formula to uh, write the equation in parametric form if you have the gradient and a point. So I'll explain how. So this is y minus, so y is equal to y1 plus this is change in y which is the numerator of a gradient. Change, change in y change in y times t. Okay, so this is the parametric form in terms of t. The same way you can do this yourself, we can write this as x is equal to x1 plus uh, x2 minus x1 times t. Or that same thing can be written as x is equal to x1 plus change in y, change in x, sorry, change in x times t. So let's use this formula. Why do we need this? Okay, so let's make up an equation or make up a situation. Say we have been given, we have a point, say you got a point, say 2 comma 5. It's basically the same question, yeah? And you got a point, say a, and this is, uh, this is this point is on a line with a gradient of say four fifth. Okay, basically they're working it backwards. So we if we have been given a point two comma five and we are saying uh, it's on a so basically this is information. This is point A, which has a gra uh, which has got two comma five, and the gradient of this line is four fifth. Okay. 4 fifth is the gradient. So well, this is, what is this? This is, this is y2 minus y1. This is change in y. And what is phi? Phi is change in x, which is x2 minus x1. And this is your x1, and this is y1. So you can say the parametric equation from this information is x is equal to 2 plus what is change in x change in is 5t. And what is y? y would be y1, which is 5, plus change in y, which is 4t. So this is the parametric equation in terms of x and y. So what does this mean? So let's understand this a bit. So what we are saying is, let's make up three columns, t, x, and y. Okay, so when x is t is 0, x is 2, y is 5. Does it make sense? If you put two, uh, t at 0 in this equation, the coordinates is 2 and 5. When t is 1, 
that is 7 comma 9. Can you see the two points 2 5 and 7 9. When t is 2 it is 2 plus uh, 10 which is 12. Am I right? So 5 times 2 is 10 plus 2 is 12 and 4 times 2 is 8 plus 5 is 13. Okay and uh, this is how you can change from uh, the Cartesian form. This is called a Cartesian form. This you can also call as a Cartesian equation of a line. Uh, whereas this is a parametric equation. And here the neat thing about this parametric equation is, suppose when time started, you have this coordinate. And after, say this is in seconds, you imagine something is going like this. So at when time is zero, it is two comma five. After one second, it is say seven comma nine. After two seconds, it is 12 comma 13. 12 comma 13. So now, if someone is asking you what's the coordinate of the point of that particle at say 1.5 seconds, it is between, uh, it'll be somewhere between, uh, between these two coordinates. So well, you can say this is 2 plus 5 times 1.5 x coordinate would be 2 plus 5 times 1.5 which is how much this is 7.5 and 2 9.5 so the x coordinate would be 9.5 and your y coordinate would be 5 plus 4 times 1.5 so 4 times 1.5 is 6 6 plus 5 is 11 so the coordinate would be 9.5 comma 11. <laughs>